pulled your tongue or I'll tear it from your gaping mouth. Oh, he did, did he? <laughs> he did. Well, then, let me be exceedingly clear about something. If either of you follow me again, you'll do so without the benefit of a spine. I have a plan of my own. We find this thing and its acolytes, we slaughter the lot of them, and then we stack their bodies into a monument dedicated to those who would threaten my family. You know, I contemplate... Yo! <laughs> Yo, Elijah's threats? Mad calm. His? Funny and dramatic. Did you hear what he just said? I have a plan of my own. We find this thing and its acolytes, we slaughter the lot of them, and then we stack their bodies into a monument dedicated to those who would threaten my family. You know, I stack contemplated leaving bits That's of you wow. artfully arranged outside your family's tomb. <laughs> I remember killing you. I rather relished it. What a joy it is to relive fond memories. If you ever <laughs> betray me, I will make sure you spend the rest of your eternal life in exquisite agony, wishing for a merciful death. Shut up, Lucian, <laughs> or I'll tear your tongue from your head. Just know if she tries anything, I'll tear her new body to pieces. If you ever betray her, I will find you and I will deposit your head on the end of a spike. I'll boil her <laughs> bones and feed them to the dogs if that's what it takes. You could meet me here. We could start burning passers-by at the stake. Oh, I would pity those of you who dared to cross me. I can assure you. Your ends would be spectacular. <laughs> Say that again, I'll pluck out your eyeballs and Mad eat them dramatic. like olives off my fingertips. Undo its curse, or I'll show Wait, you Wait, go ahead, what did he say? Like spectacular. Say that again, I'll pluck out your eyeballs and eat them like olives off my fingertips. <laughs> Undo its <laughs> I'm sorry, Omarion. I'm so sorry. <laughs> For you. I'll eat your eyeballs like olives. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> this man is wild. I'm sorry, I gotta say that one more time. <laughs> your ends would be spectacular. Oh, <laughs> say that again, I'll pluck out your eyeballs and eat them like olives off my fingertips. Undo its curse, or I'll show you things worse than death. Get me the head of whoever did this and put it on a stick. You will take me to Camille. <laughs> And you will surrender the medallion. Or you will meet an end so cruel. The devil will weep. I know I can't <laughs> kill you, but I shall have a fine time trying. Tell me, have you ever been skinned alive? I will bring a hell to your <laughs> last place! I will bathe in the house of your heart! You will die screaming! After I plunge this into your heart, you will be immobilized, imprisoned in a state of raw inescapable anguish cherish the breath in your lungs it'll be your last might i recommend you release him before i opt to release you from cherish your immortal call the breath if you in continue your to defy me your lives will be reduced to an unending sequence of agonizing torture <laughs> and should i discover that this is yet another cock-eyed scheme for Haley and you to abscond with her the paltry remains of your beloved wolf pack will be sniffing at your entrails come morning. I know how talented you are with your tongue, Genevieve. Might I recommend you use it to provide answers? I would so hate to tear it from your mouth. Remind me to ask you before I pull out his innards. Anything Yo, inevitable I'll... is your death. For one of any number of reasons. They're bad, buddy. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Man, this is some good acting, man. <laughs> Provide answers. I would so hate to tear it from your mouth. Remind me to ask him before I pull out his innards. Is anything inevitable is your death. For one of any number of reasons, all of which will be rendered moot when I send her screaming back to hell. I might be eager to stand over your burning corpse again. Why are you so funny? <laughs> Only this time I intend to enjoy it more. Let's give Cole a little longer to decide before we lop off his head. If you don't cooperate. Declan round the eyes is where I'm going to start carving off pieces of you. Perhaps I should take preventative measures and separate him from his head. I want you to flay her and hang her skin as a flag. Once he's locked in his body, I can end our collective woes with a brief snap of the neck. If you don't do as I say, I will hunt down anyone you love and then blood, gore, screaming death. I win. Your life will be worth less than the velveteen on this little rabbit. If I find my faith in you has been misplaced, 
You should know I have my reasons. Rebecca suggested I hear them. I'd rather rip out your vocal cords. Even if you don't hesitate, <laughs> the other two will rip you in half. I will gladly end you for what you did to Camille. But first, I'm going to make you suffer in ways your spoiled little mind cannot possibly imagine. If that piece is in any way disrupted, the next gruesome murder will be yours. Oh, I think she might be more amenable if she's forced to watch as I tear you limb from limb. Were you anyone else, the servants would already be mopping your blood from the floor. If you do not bring my sister home, Tristan will die slowly and in tremendous pain. I will make you suffer as only I can. So I'm going to find a way to murder that godforsaken witch. Oh. So find your sisters and feed them what remains of your insides. Perhaps I should bring Vincent here, <laughs> force him to aid you by removing his legs. You once told me you wanted to use her head as a footstool. Why wait? I'll be sure to scatter both your ashes in the same patch Are of bog. Look, I have planned on taking a different head tonight, but yours will do just fine. Maybe we can't hurt each other in here, but when I'm free, I'm going to cut you in half. What I'm going to do to you will redefine the word sadistic. It's such a shame <laughs> these lovely linens will soon be red with blood. Gentlemen, I hope to flay the skin from your bones. Hello, Tyler. You look well. I aim to change that. Sorry to break up your little prayer circle. We've I come for that book. That. And to kill the lot of you. What a shame it would be were I forced to send her back to the death she's just escaped. Now I will see that woman roast upon a pyre before I give in to the demands of these cultists. You should have stuck your hand down his throat and ripped out his entrails. Instead, you let him off the hook. After I kill you, I'm going to hunt down everyone you know and everyone you love. I haven't come here to fight you. This is to be an execution. I'm missing a crucial <laughs> color in my palette. Hey, come that was my enemy's blood, yeah, yeah. and she will be getting married here today. Unless, of course, you want this wedding to turn into a funeral. Agnes, Sophie, it's all <laughs> the same to me. I'll slaughter the lot of them. Her head will be delivered to you on a silver platter. I'm going to break every bone in your body. I'm going to kill every last one of them. No, I can't. <laughs> Let me just finish this off. Starting small, then. Fingernails, or perhaps the tongue. Build the suspense. I have to murder my hands. <laughs> okay, I'm done, man. <laughs> I don't know why these are funny to me. <laughs> these are funny. Like, is there any more of these? I, I, I found two, but like, I don't know if there's any more making violent threats. Like, because these are like classic. Oh my gosh. Oh man, this one was good. But um. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, man, go ahead and like the video, man. Hit the subscribe button. Join the story family. Comment down below what you thought about the video, man. Hit the bell, and I'll see you in the next video. No cap.